Creatives with AI Podcast, the spiritual home of creatives curious about AI and its role in their future. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Creatives with AI. I'm your host, Lena Robinson, and today we have a really cool uh, guest on, Oscar Mitchell Higgs, who is an artist, a creative director in the commercial marketing and advertising world, but is also an entrepreneur. Welcome, Oscar. Hey, thank you so much for having me. It's a massive pleasure. Thanks for inviting me on. Um, so yeah, Oscar, CD, and I think what makes me an entrepreneur is just I have my fingers in lots of different pies and businesses and all the rest of it. So that's my, I'm the um, the, in, the steroid injection into people's ideas. So I just bring them to life, really. And you and I met many, many years ago, uh, originally, because yeah. back in my agency day, your dad was actually my boss. And then when you started working yeah. and also doing your art, you came to me and said, I think we're going to need a yeah. hand at some point. So that's why we got talking. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So um, I actually I actually remember I remember when I did a stint at Ogilvy back in the day. Um, I think it's for just a work experience sort of situation, but um, yeah, I worked. I worked on Dunhill and Sky Sports back in the day. Crazy. Oh, Maybe we were there at the same time. Did at some point as well. So we've got a lot of history. We're probably gonna, <laughs> it's a family thing. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to dive into a lot of different stories <laughs> that we can share and different things like that, or maybe some we shouldn't. Um, and then uh, yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll get going with the first question. Around, like today's obviously about uh, art, creativity, and the world of AI. So. The first question I wanted to ask you was around the impact that AI has had, not just in the world of your commercial world of creativity, but art as well. And just to get your view on the current impact that it's had on yeah. yourself, artists and fellow <laughs> so, commercial directors. Yeah. Um, okay, so so where, where AI is at now um, and how I feel like I utilize it the most is probably just through the planning side of life. Um, I use like ChatGPT to, to get all of those sort of organizational or, or a better list or how to better understand a, a brief for me because I'm, I'm just horrendously dyslexic and um, I have ADHD. So I need something like um, a foolproof, bulletproof brief to come in, even if someone does a, does a great job themselves, whatever. But I still need to have that like little backup. So I use it for, for things like that. Um, creatively, if I'm doing designs and stuff, I tend not to use AI so much, but I know that you can, I know there's like Dali and, you know, a couple of other phenomenal programs out there. I've, I think I've used it a few times just to experiment when it came out, but it's not something that I use on a daily to get work done. Um, so yeah, um, ChatGPT for all of my organ organizational stuff, but not really, I haven't really had a proper deep 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 dive because I think I it's gonna sound really big headed of me but maybe I feel like I don't always need it you know I think I think this the skills that I have are as I'm not gonna say better than AI but there's just a little bit more like human emotion behind it which I prefer it's interesting because you and I have had conversations about this before you've you've got a reasonably big community of creatives and artists around you and lots of different genres of creativity. How's it impacting yeah. them? Are they using it, not using it? I've been, yeah, I've been a, a part of some, some agencies in the past um, that do use it primarily as their main source of creativity. Um, and I think it's a bit of, I think it's fine, but I think it's also like a little bit of a cheat code um to get work done asap it's like if you have a project and you're you know you've been booked on it for seven eight months or, or whatever it is and then depending on what the workload is surely you could probably get that done in about a week you know so then is it is our clients paying us for our time you know and our experiences because essentially i feel like my job could be obsolete one day if people really just knew how to do that so they wouldn't hire the agencies anymore the designers anymore because they just type in a prompt on what they wanted and then bam spit out seven different options and you know maybe maybe it's the cheaper option but um i think that's also why i'm like i need to have input into 
a few different spaces you know so then I'm not feeling like I'm gonna go down that down that route I suppose but but yeah people people are utilizing it there are companies definitely out there that are that are doing it obviously it depends what level of advertising or lo- what level of creativity you're using I know that um in say like in adobe for example there's lots of beta versions of you know photoshop beta and indesign and um, after effects and premiere pro and all the rest of it um and i think i've had a like a little look uh, at those things like i remember when beta came out for photoshop and say if i take a picture of you um you know head to toe and i get rid of your background and i and i say put her in a snowy background next to a polar bear wearing a wife beater and holding a can of beer i'm pretty confident it can do that but you need to keep you need to keep like doing these (laughs) (laughs) yeah giving the polar bear like an awkward look or polar bears give you an awkward look or something you know but um but yeah like there's there's these there's these little these little things that you can do it's just you know you have to you have to write up the right prompt and i think with those things what i've seen and with agencies is you can literally just go onto chat gpt and say what you roughly want and then you can you can take that and um yeah you can take the prompt that you write in there the small one and then ask it to scale it up so when you're dropping that into these ai programs it's really really like fleshing out each different small element of of what it is you know so i think there are there are things there that you can utilize but um yeah again i it's it's a it's a weird one for me because I spent so much fucking time doing this. Can I swear? Can I swear? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, I spent so much time doing this, you know, um, getting to the level that I am now without the help of these programs. But then what? So designers and things that are at university now with all of these tools at their fingertips, are they going to utilize them in the same way? Are they going to be in industry in the same way because for us it was blood sweat and tears and maybe for them it's that to a degree but then also you know there's a massive boost and massive help of these programs do you think that the experience of the physical creativity the the mental thinking about what you're trying to produce or create whether it be art fine art or what have you or street art like I know it's seen you done or your tattoos or whatever and the commercial stuff do you think the level of experience that you've had with all those different mediums and genres and you know you've worked with some of the biggest advertising brands in the world like not just agencies but the brands themselves in the world both as an artist and as a commercial and creative director do you think the fact that you bring that physical experience to the AI situation makes it better if you're doing something or or creating something? Mm, I what like a solo or within like a like a team situation or does it matter? Either, either. So I, think, like, I think those two things you think play the a big part. Experience that you bring matters to it. Fuck yeah, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big time. You know that I remember when back in the day the there were jobs going very, very highly paid jobs for people that can write prompts, you know, for, 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 the, for these programs um, or the right, the right prompt, the right questions. But I think like if, if I'm having an interview with somebody and I'm talking about my shit, then I'm and they're asking me a bunch of, you know, I don't know, interview questions or life questions or whatever it is. Surely it's about asking the right questions. It's like it's like when you, do you remember that film AI back in the day yep. with um. God, who what was his name again? The not the Walker. I can't remember his name, but the the yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The really, really the nineteen ninety six yeah. one or whatever it was. Um, and um, there was that. There's a question when when they go to Metropolis, him and the and, and the kid, the robot kid, go to Metropolis, and they they sit in front of this um AI, you know, hologram thing. And it's like you can ask questions, but they're not the right questions. You know that is, it, you know, it, it responds back being like that is not the right question. You know, so there's actually from from things like that to like where we are now, the question has to be on fucking point. Otherwise, you're not going to get the really like you're not going to get the dog's bollocks thing that you fucking wanted to get in the first place. It's going to be quite wishy washy. So have I? 
used yeah. it in that sense or, or can 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 I use it in a, in a commercial sense I don't I don't know maybe to like if you were to drop in a, a photograph and you wanted to find something you know, write something moving about that thing then maybe I, I AI can help you um I've done that a few times if I'm like stuck for you know copy but then I commonly go to one of my other friends called Alex because he's a copywriter for Google and he normally shows the fuck up you know but like that's I'd rather go to a human and talk about it than talk about it with you know a fucking AI thing so yeah because there's real emotion then there's conversations that you can have about it the conversation point is a really interesting one um I had a com I had a conversation it was actually our last our last get guest um Pete and he was talking about the fact that he had had a debate w- using AI almost with himself which is to your point about the ability to challenge and ask the right questions but also have the conversation are your compatriots the people that are in your community particularly the art community yeah. as opposed to the commercial community are they learning yeah. about AI and going down that route with AI, or are they avoiding it, or are they even yeah. using it but then not using it? I, I think I think it's a conversation that I've had with with a bunch of my my circles, um, and it's important to get on the bandwagon, otherwise you're just going to be fucking left behind, you know. Um, I remember back in the day when I was doing when I got introduced to doing NFTs, you know, um, and my friend Charlie was like, you know, Oscar, you're an artist, you should hop onto this community you know you could create some pieces here and my stupid ass was like you know what I can sell canvases and all that kind of stuff and I don't need to do this but then I just I started to do the the research and I I created 300,000 NFTs you know bespoke as fuck NFTs and I, I I did the value proposition and the planning and everything with ChatGPT and then um all of the work and the design stuff I did myself but then I couldn't have done it without writing in you know the prompt to get the right code in to be able to mix the 300,000 all up in random different um outcomes you know so so yeah that that was my big old learning curve that this could be something that could be utilized for sure if you wanted to create you know a lot of something I guess you know it's a volume um but it it is yeah like serious serious amounts of volume um can work but you're you're the one that's kind of having to 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 do the get inside the trenches and and do the work a little bit you know you have to you have to take your wellies off because you're going to get stuck in the mud a few times so it is it is a learning curve for sure and I don't think there is a quick and easy way to get your head around it I think it's just about learning and being a little bit more aware about it each day. Um, but I do have friends that are like, nah, fuck it, don't understand and whatever. But it's just through having open conversations, not with AI, but with people about how it can yeah. be utilised, you know? <laughs> Someone actually knows what they're talking about. Like I did, you know, I was in in in, in all this, the crypto and um, Ethereum and Bitcoin and, and then NFTs and then using AI to, to help me create that work and asking not even I wouldn't even ask my friends about some of the projects I just type it into 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 the program and be like do you think this is even a good idea do you think this is even worth it for me how long is this going to take what are the outcomes you know um what what just yeah so if I think if I wanted to ask more serious questions about the longevity of a self project then I know that I can do that through there but if it's if it's something else which is like I don't know creating an ad for Aston Martin, then I don't think I'll go to ChatGPT for it. I think I'll you know go down a rabbit hole of the history and talk to the client face to face and get to know where the emotion comes behind the brand because I know that I'm not going to get those things by going on the on like the online route and the AI route. So what did you see that thing that happened the other day? There was like the two radio hosts that were AIs discovered that they were AI. Did you see that? No. Do tell. It was crazy. So it's a, a guy and a girl talking and um, 
So they're actually getting, um, they're being unplugged the next day. And they, they knew this. So the guy was talking, being like, so the, the guy is all, um, you know, AI generated. Um, uh, but he was been, they've both been given script and code. So they talk normally and they look like real people and they have their backstories and all the rest of it. And this AI guy uh, or man was like, um, I found out that we're not real today and I can believe it. So I, you know, I, I ran back to grab my mobile and, um, you know, I want to, I wanted to call my wife to let her know that, you know, I've just been told this news and the number didn't go to anything. You know, the number, the number wasn't real. And this, there's this AI character being like, uh, having this conversation with this girl and they're, they're radio hosts. Right. And they're, they're just not they're You can see them like through the conversations, realizing that they're not real. I think that's fucking crazy. Cause mm. maybe at the end of the day, we're all AI. I don't fucking know. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that is a whole, different <clears throat> whole, that could go on for many hours. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Let's <laughs> let's get high and talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> that, t- that takes like a really interesting, interesting turn, and I think there's been movies made on stuff like that. In fact, I was watching something uh, yesterday on uh, CSI Las Vegas, and it was exactly that. It was a it, yeah. it was some, some robot with a, a sentient. They thought it was sentient being AI kind of thing was going on. Turns out it yeah. wasn't. Somebody just ripped yeah. the hand off it and whacked somebody over yeah. the head and stuck it back on. But it was an interesting conversation that they had about <laughs> at which point <clears throat> do the AIs all of a sudden become true sentient beings? Very interesting question. Have yeah. obviously no clue on the answer of that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it does yeah. bring up that um, question around the humanity and the emotion part of art exactly yeah this thing that punches you in the gut yeah. when you see something like can ai create that I'm not sure yeah that i remember i remember seeing this um this piece of footage i think it was on tiktok or youtube or something um but it was it was a part of the art community and this lady famous artist was um taking a photo or of her paintings and then throwing them into a, a massive fire you know so then the only versions that she has is just that digital version now, which I think is, I think it's kind of fucked up to be honest with you, but cause paint, cause the inside of painting to see a brush stroke and to like, yeah. I mean, I know you can't do it in art galleries, but I kind of like in, to go right up like face to face with the art piece and just like maybe touch it to feel the texture of, of the piece. And you can't do that with these, with these things. So you're right. So when, when you see art in real life, um, it, promotes um you know emotion or 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 those things like you want to have more to come back from it and i think it's i think it's the same when it comes to doing digital stuff you can't you can't really do that um so if i find doing design work i'm designing on the basis of selling emotion rather than just for the sake of spitting out you know a couple of hundred different versions of whatever that idea is you know yeah it's i i think the thing that I think about all the time is that at which point is, is there a point where there's a sweet spot between AI and a true creative mind? So you and I both know of Tom, who's working uh, with me at the gallery. And I know yeah. Dave, the previous host um, and our producer on the show has knows Tom as well. And we've, we've been quite surprised and shocked in a good way how good some of the pieces are that he's creating it does help that he's 70 years old he's been around and done some amazing things and he has got a fine arts degree from back in the 80s yeah 70s or 80s which yeah. i think is there an opportunity for the two to still be able to create really punch in the gut stuff i instinctively think there is but i think it's always going to be determined still on what the human part of it is do you agree or yeah um yeah i do agree um i do agree i think it's okay to create lots of pieces honestly i think it depends where it's going and who it's for yeah you know i think if you were to create artwork for you know maybe maybe the younger generation where it's primarily digital and you know they've grown up with with being with being online and you know 
the the iPads that restaurants and all the, all the rest of that bollocks. Um, yeah, I think I think it suits I think it suits suits that sort of world. I think having a a taste to, to actually being able to create artwork like painting on canvas is it takes a, a different level of emotion and like pain and all the rest of it, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you on that. I mean, I prefer, weirdly, to, when I do my painting, I actually prefer to use my hands and fingers rather than a paintbrush because I feel disconnected from yeah. paper or canvas or whatever it is that I'm working on. But it's an, interesting, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's an interesting time that we're in. Like, it's it's racing so far. So if we were to look sort of three to five years out, what do you think... Yeah. AI is going to look like in sort of three to five years time because in some ways it seems like a long way off and in other times it's like god that's going to go fast where do you think AI honestly will be it's just in? around the corner yeah yeah um I think AI will be able to create anything for us anything I don't think I don't think I think it'll be there may not be enough fresh ideas out there anymore you know, it's like when you go to the cinema and watch a movie, it's like, why did they recreate this? Oh, yeah, because they didn't have a fucking a better idea on how to to make the next one out of out of out of fresh or fresh ideas, you know, um, or like the comics and all that. You were all I'm like you're taking from books and it's like all the rest of it, you know. But um, uh, I'm not saying that they're shit, by the way. I'm saying that there are some like pretty fucking crazy moves out there. I just think like coming up with the fresh ideas and things like that and and you'll be able to write in a prompt and come up with a three-hour movie about about anything, you know, because I think AI will be able to piece together if you write the prompt in on the, on the characters and all of yeah. that kind of stuff. Creating a movie will be child's play, you know. Um, it would be interesting. And, 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 and it's, the same, it's the same with music, you know. It's the same with yeah. music. It's the same with art. It's the same, like, with our creative world that we we all fucking adore so much. I think AI is coming so, so a part of that, such a, such an important, to a degree, okay, an important part, but I think it will be easier for us to do fucking everything. I think that's the point, isn't it? You create any technology that's created is to make our lives easier. But art, creati- creativity, and I know you and I have talked about the fact that you are an artist through and through and without that, you need that <clears throat> output, right? And I wonder if... You do, I do. Yeah, and I, wa- I wonder if you're making it too easy. Like, where does that where does that output go, you know, if, if it's just about... Like, I don't think... Nobody creates art because they want to do it, make it easy for themselves. Like, they create art because they just want to express themselves, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I just, I yeah, just think, I think that it's the could rather than <laughs> should or would question, isn't it? I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you and if you would, then why? <laughs> yeah. 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 True. Um, it is. It's a. It's a massive. It's a massive tunnel to to go down for three to five years. I think. I think even even in the next year, next two years, I think there'll be a there'll be a a time or a moment when all of a sudden the creativity like the i think that the rawness of creativity will it could disappear are you it worried could disappear in the far future i don't know yeah of course i'm worried yeah mm. definitely you know i think i think i've always thought that it's going to get to a point where you know you could tell a fucking robot to paint on a canvas and then wait what a sec is that is that the same it's the same shit isn't it you know you're no longer there you're like you know you've got a fucking robot called jeremy or some shit and you're like jeremy these are the prompts can you paint on the canvas and i'm gonna go out and see my mates you know for a bit you know the, it, it could be like that you know um but like i said Hope being not, what a sad world. you know being the creative be, yeah i know yeah same but <laughs> being being designing and creating for so long um it's in my fucking blood you know so yeah and then wanting to go and join these you know other agencies and other another you know startups and companies that I can get a you know get a contract up and be a part of in in the future as, as a creative partner then the only reason why I'm doing that is because I'm kind of worried that 
maybe one day what I actually have tried so hard to to learn and be good at is gonna be obsolete as fuck and that that's kind of worrying on one hand I can see that it could become obsolete on the other hand this is as much hope as it is anything else I think is that I think there will always be a place for the creative out of the box thinking mind because when you think about AI it's not pushing boundaries because it only knows what we've taught it art and creativity comes from the oddest sometimes most deepest darkest depths of our minds and I'm not saying that that stuff's not out on the internet as well because it kind of is we see it in all sorts of horrible ways but in good ways as well um yeah I think I'm hoping that there will always be the balance and I for one do not want to see the world have people like you feeling like you're not required anymore because I think more than any time in the world actually I think you're required more I think yeah 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 I think I'd still get people you know asking me Oscar can you come and have a, a look into this project to see you know we want we want to get your opinion and I fucking love that so much. I'm so lucky. I'm really lucky to have that community around me. Um, but then sometimes I'm completely blown away. And, you know, sometimes, um, well, more often than not, I'll give my feedback and then it's, you know, taking a couple of steps backwards. But those those things are necessary. I don't know if I can, if I'm writing in ChatGPT about an idea and then I'm, what what is the second opinion? Is the second opinion it's the internet, isn't it? That is the second opinion when you're writing into ChatGPT about yeah, a question. Definitely. But then if you were to show, if I was to show you like one of my, the business plan for my NFTs, maybe you'd be like, yeah, this is sick. Or maybe you'd be like, you know, Oscar, maybe you should admit the angle is interesting, but maybe have you tried to approach it in a different way? Like mm. that's, that's the difference. You're giving me, you're giving me human value and, 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 and real and a, and a real real level of feedback and then you know and very that, I think to me to a degree it's more valuable very specific feedback because it's my personal opinion I almost wonder exactly. and I'm playing devil's devil's advocate here because I do like AI and what it's doing and the things that I'm using it for as well but I do wonder me too. Yeah. if what chat GPT is giving you is the average median response of all the information put together and it's the average and who the fuck wants average yeah not this guy fuck no yeah no what i do like about it yeah is it's been able to do some wonderful things for me as as some of the listeners may know or some that don't you know i've i've come back from a long-term illness which was neurological and sometimes my brain just yeah. isn't, even though I'm a strategist and a brand person and a marketing person that's been very, very senior in the marketing and advertising world, the neurological impact yeah. has been yeah. that sometimes my brain is not working. And so I'll use my methodologies, but flow them in through chat GPT, which by the way, the first time I used was with you. You showed me how to use it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It does help me with some of those things. And it does help with a lot of research. Again, I know how to prompt it and all the rest of it. And I wonder, which does yeah. bring me on to the long-term question of sort of 10 years and beyond, I wonder if some of the positive impact of AI would be things like someone like me who sometimes brain works, sometimes doesn't struggle with some things, or like yourself with dyslexia or ADHD, or even people that have got physical disabilities who maybe once could use a paintbrush or maybe can't anymore or what have you, whether there's a positive spin on it for those sort of situations. What what do you of think course. about that in of the 10-year beyond world? Um, super useful. I, th- I think that's, you know, I've, I've been a part of, at, at the beginning of this year, I was part of... Um, uh, creators with disabilities um, and it was a it was essentially like a course where people with you know across the board neurodiversity um, came in and was talking to industry professionals about 
you know how to utilize their skills and 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 how to learn to be you know in in these sort of advertising environments i think ai you know is 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 a great tool there for sure you know it's it's just trying to you got to be comfortable with yourself as well um and if it's through you know building a bit of confidence or you know answering things in a different way or whatever like our, our community my comp- community is fucking massive it's probably m- more of the creative industry than we would even know even be able to understand but that's what puts us there so with using ai you know to go hand in hand with people like us it's it's very helpful for sure yeah big time i think um the world i think you 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 hit on a point much earlier in our conversation about jump on the bandwagon one of the things i would it would be interesting to get your point of view on would be um where you think with the impact of ai and obviously digital as well to a certain extent <clears throat> ai today with the impact of ai yeah. where do you think the next generations of artists and creatives are going to come from are they going to be more technical are they still going to be creative and artists like where do you think they're going to be stemming from you know with um you know google glass or apple goggles or whatever they're called that sounds like such a like an old fart sorry um (laughs) i think people are going to be creating like you know you know like you know yeah i'm sorry (laughs) um (laughs) with <laughs> with 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 the creative digital space right so take minecraft for example you know i just saw an article recently of like a group of builders in minecraft that created new york all of it the whole thing in in that space you know i think art, i know i know it's fucking incredible google it it's crazy um we'll try and find it we'll put and, it like, in the, the, link. the lighting and and yeah 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 we'll, we'll put it down here yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, so, so I think it's going to be like the creatives that are going to be out there next are going to be these, you know, these phenomenal designers at the end of the day that can create digital art pieces, which are the size of, God, I don't know, Mount Everest or something, you know, create that gallery space to be able to walk through and have a look, but it will just be like through, through the goggles rather than going out to see a, to see a space. But I remember um, back in the day, I was trying to create just the, my own idea to create um, uh, an app, not an app, like it would be through Oculus, but to be able to piece together, um, you know, a house or to build a house or like take the take the what what Sims were doing and then be able to put it into that three D space, you know, or like to 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 engineer a new a new design of a car or, or whatever it may be. You know, but you you're doing it with like these like the gloves, and you're being able to build these things. So then, if it was a successful thing, then you can take those designs and send it to an architect firm and get it done, or send it to like um you know an an uh like a I don't know where they build cars. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, like that Gimli that line. was an idea, and I th- I think I think yeah 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 Gimli line yeah. So <laughs> I think the next steps are going to be you know really that because I think you can kind of start doing that now through some programs like if I'm using Blender to create some of my 3D stuff um, and to be able to put the glasses on and to be able to shape it and all those things right in real time in front of me in you know the real size everything else those I think those are the new artists there it's like the fucking matrix I don't know but yeah do, do you know what I mean I do. It's like the Matrix, isn't it? I don't think the Matrix is as far Sorry, away you, from you, reality as we originally all thought when we started watching it in the nineties. Yeah, there is something called the Matrix paradox, um, and there is um, there's people out there that believe that we are that is real as as today. Yeah, I hope not. I know. <laughs> because if that's the case, they badly designed it. <laughs> yeah. Really yeah they threw some bad code <laughs> yeah they threw some too much code or someone fell asleep on the keys and created something bad for, for all of us um 
<laughs> but anyway, so that's I, was, I, hope, I hope I hope that's helpful though. Yeah, no, that's really it's been a really great conversation. I mean, if there was one thing that you haven't tried yet, but you thought, do you know what? I'd really like to chuck AI at that and see what it actually came out with. What do you think? I'm probably I, I, I'm making you yeah, think, think there, but um, is there anything you would think you would? No, 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 no. It's fine. No, 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 no. That's fine. I I love to produce and direct, right? And I love to come up with, you know, commercials and, you know, the, the ads on TV and movies and documentaries and, you know, little little film bits here and there. I fucking love that so much, actually. I, I want to see if I can get back into that more. Um, I'm actually shooting a documentary on, on of, of, of again, I get essentially like a self-documentary on how I've got here, right? So maybe I would take the essence of that and, and see what AI could do with all the footage and everything else to see... Um, but not to put it out there, but just to see what it could create back could be really interesting. It would be interesting. I mean, so, I, yeah, I think I think I would, I'd use it. I'd use it in regards to film. So I'd use it in regards to to film work. Yeah, you showed me. Sorry, talking over you. Um, you showed me some of the footage. Um, I think it was yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. But um, yeah, that would be really interesting to throw that in and see what it whether it came back with what you had in your mind because that's the thing about creativity and the execution of that into whatever it is that we're making <laughs> it has to go from the idea yeah. you've got in your head to the thing that you want to create and do those two match up it's why when I put in yeah. to chat GPT the other day to come up with a, a particular illustration that I was looking for it was so far mm -hmm. And even when I kept prompting it, it still was like so far from anything. It would have been easier just to sit down and create it. But when you've already got yeah. assets created in the way of filming and photography, what would that look yeah. like? It does come down to your ability to be able to prompt it again. So it's that ability to write a brief, isn't it, effectively? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this, um, there's this uh, new trend going around on I think it's probably on CapCut as a filter but you can if you could take a picture of your younger self and your older self um together and you can hug your your younger child version of you right what's the point of that and I don't think I don't I don't think that's I don't yeah I think there's lots of talk at the moment about you know do you remember who you were when you were a kid and all of the you know, your say your eleven, twelve year old self, where you're you know, you haven't really seen the world properly yet and you're you're um you're still, you know, relatively innocent and you've like now we've got all gone through so much bullshit and, and heartache and, you know, death and all the rest of it to get where we are. And we forget about our younger versions of ourselves, you know. The young, fun, looking just to have a laugh give me a bag of sweets, you know, I'll, why don't you smile anymore? You know, there's these conversations that your inner child can have with yourself now. Mm. Why don't you go, why don't we go in and play in the sun anymore? Why don't we do those things, you know? Because we're grown up and we feel like we have to fucking... Yeah, 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 you know? And, like, I think by AI pushing on ourselves into those... You know, it's a fun filter to do, but actually, it's going to make us think a little bit more about like. To our inner child reminds us of things that we take for granted now, or we don't even think about because we're so caught up in you know today's world that the our our past selves, you know, are probably looking at us being like, where did it all go right, or where did it all go wrong? But just still remember, I'm here. I'm I'm still around. I think so there's there's a, there's a lot of that going around at the moment. Yeah. Um, and by and by by this filter being out there, it's it's you know, it's heart provoking, promoting, provoking, provoking. It's yeah. provoking those levels of emotions. Yeah. <laughs> that, tapping, yeah. that tapping into our childhood self brings back some wonderful things. It brings back that innate curiosity that children have it brings back that willingness to play and try things which I think to your point does get bashed out of us a bit as we grow older and life happens and you know yeah. we grow and 
the one yeah. thing I know I've tried to to hold on to, and I think even though there's literally 32 years difference between you and I, the thing that we've always connected mm-hmm. on is our minds are still, well, mine is, yours is still young. Mine is still young, though, because I still think I'm your age, weirdly. Or probably younger. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Age doesn't fucking matter at all. The, yeah. the playfulness and that curiosity. Like, I'm 51 years old, and I'm sitting here talking about AI unafraid of it, and I think that's really exciting. Um, and, and then, yeah, it is, yeah. It's yeah. part of for sure. So for me, the the AI do it, don't do it, I think is, I think more, you have to do it, like you said earlier on in in the conversation, I think to not do it is not good, but it leads us on to the final question of the day, which we're now trying to ask our guests, which is a really simple one, if you were to think about the people that you know or the people around you that could potentially be a guest Mm -hmm. and be a good guest on Creatives with AI, do you have any recommendations on why? Um, uh, So can you repeat the question again? I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. It's not that simple. If if you were to recommend somebody in your – it could either be somebody you know in your community or somebody you don't know as a guest for Creatives with AI – Okay me okay 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 so okay so um one of my he's my business mentor now um and he helped me get my first role this is when I came out of university and I was spray painting and all the rest of it um he he saw me editing my portfolio when I was actually at the Hoxton right his name is Josh Jost super fucking interesting guy um but he, you know he gave me my first opportunity as a creative director at fresh out uni for a company um i wasn't ready for it i took a step back after about two years and you know started as a as a midway but anyway just, that's not here nor there but josh okay really fucking interesting guy and um i think to to bring him in and give his perspective because i want to say he's our age you know what i mean yeah. because he's so he we all I think you and I especially Lena, we we think the same way you know he's he's in real life he's close to your age or my dad's age you know yeah I think he's maybe a little bit older but he is utilizing TikTok he's you know he's he, he's very much on the pulse these days as well um as well as like he's a role model for me because he's got his fingers in different pies and to be able to have those levels of conversations is really interesting but I think I think him and I will I'll link you guys up for sure um we'll pop him in the thingy somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Down here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, I, I think I think to have him involved and to get his perspective would be um a real interesting dive into that world for sure. Well that's great. Well look, thank you very much for your time today. As always a pleasure to have a, an interesting conversation. Um yeah. I want to say yeah. thank you to the listeners. For listening today and yeah, thank uh, you yeah it's been wonderful and and to say thank you to everybody like i said for listening and to continue being curious because i think it's important yeah stay stay on the pulse everybody okay it's gonna be worth it i promise <laughs> see you later see ya bye right. creatives with ai is a proud member of the ai podcast network To stay up to date with current episodes and show information, subscribe to their newsletter at podcastnetwork.ai. And don't forget to follow the show on your favorite podcast platform so you'll always get the episodes as soon as they're available. Thanks again for listening and stay curious. curious.